Victoria's iconic breakwater is getting a new look, and it's one a lot of people do not like. Railings are being installed along both sides of the walkway, a safety precaution that critics say is overkill. But the Harbour Authority says once the project is complete, the breakwater will be even better than before. And don't judge it till you've seen it. CTV's Aaron Glazier has the story. Gleaming under the fluorescent warehouse lights, aluminum handrails are ready to be installed along the breakwater at Ogden Point. You'll see today a combination of equipment and materials being brought onto the site and the real work will start later in the week as they start doing the installation. All in the name of safety. We really didn't have a choice. We had two options, either um, put in the, the handrail to make it safe for the public and workers or close down the breakwater and we simply weren't prepared to consider shutting down the breakwater. One year ago, federal labour inspectors examined the breakwater and said the open walkway was unsafe for the workers who maintain it. But for those who come for one last unobstructed stroll, there is utter disappointment. I think it'll just spoil an icon for the city. I came down for one last walk and it's closed today and I didn't have a clue. So I'm really disappointed. I really am. The upper walkway will be closed for a total of eight weeks. However, the Harbour Authority says access to the lower rocks will remain open. And the hope is when the project is done, there will be greater access for all. Right now, the narrow gate prevents people in scooters and wheelchairs from accessing the walkway. Getting um, that facility open and available to people that have mobility issues is also a very important part of why we're doing this work. I have a bit of vertigo and um, it always made me a little bit nervous, you know, and I think I don't have a problem with the hand railing. The Harbour Authority says the post and cable design will minimize view obstructions and the cost will be covered with reserve funds. The budget is still, uh, we're looking between four and five hundred thousand, keeping in mind looking at handrails that go down to, um, to the lower blocks in certain areas as well. Where fishermen drop their lines hoping to catch a prize. The Harbour Authority will be angling for the same sort of satisfaction when the breakwater reopens two months from now. Aaron Glazier, CTV News, Victoria.